guess about two years ago, some teachers and I were talking about trying to figure out a way to get kids more involved in community service. We had talked to a school in South Lake Dawson Middle School where they do the day before, the Friday before Thanksgiving break, all their kids go out and do community service for one day. Whether they go pick up trash somewhere, they go paint somewhere, they all do community service for one day. So we had started working on that. Um, and then some teachers and I were in Washington, D.C. at a conference, and we saw McCracken Middle School from South Carolina present about their YES program. And one of the teachers looked at me and said, we need to do that. My thoughts about YES are that I think it is a, anytime you can get students and the community involved, then I think it's always a positive because so many times we do things in isolation and this gives our students a chance to go out into the community and see how things all tie together. And it gives the community a chance when the, from the experiences on Friday, it gives the community a chance to come in and see what we've been working on for the last several days. I wanted to be a part of the YES program because I really think it gives students the opportunity to see life beyond school. It gives us an opportunity for kids to get involved in the community and see where there's need for them to volunteer. Um, well, when you get to go to high school, a lot of students want to get involved in volunteer opportunities. So it really gives them the opportunity to expand kind of their, their world outside of just our community right here. Ms. Eckert came to a select group of teachers last year and she said that she had seen this amazing program at a school in South Carolina and she asked if I want to be a part of the committee that went to South Carolina to see how the school did their week of yes and see if it was something we wanted to bring back to our campus. And from the moment we walked into South Carolina and saw what they were doing with our students and their community, we said this is something we have to bring back to Hillwood. Whether they go pick up trash somewhere, they go paint somewhere, they all do community service for one day. So we had started working on that um, and then some teachers and I were in Washington DC at a conference and we saw McCracken Middle School from South Carolina present about their YES program. And one of the teachers looked at me and said, we need to do that, not the helping hands. How do I think the teachers are doing? I think that they are doing a fantastic job. I think that from what I have seen, they've planned activities to keep the students engaged. I think they've planned activities from what I've seen. I think they have gotten the necessary materials, the necessary things to be able to keep, keep the students engaged and keep them learning so that it really applies to whatever the project is that they've chosen at the time. And I think it's really amazing that they've been able to pull all this together and have several days worth of learning activities. So from there um, I started meeting with business members and we got some business members to pay for six of our teachers to go to South Carolina last May so they could see it in action and see how it ran and then we got money from the community to do it this year at Hillwood. Freaky forensics. Every hound needs a home. The road to college. The four C's. Cooking for cooks. Life without limit. Babysitter's club. The hope on wheels. Hillwood back to the I like it because I'm a science teacher and so there's a lot of science knowledge and background that goes into it. I've always just been intrigued with intrigued with forensic science and just the whole scientific aspect of being able to figure out crimes. We're trying to give the students exposure to what it would be like to be part of a forensics department, be part of a, like a crime scene investigator. Um, what's challenging is um, for me is the math because there's so much math that goes into it when you're trying to figure out what we need to figure out, you know, like with like if it's a car crash, we need to figure out the velocity, so we need to use math while figuring it out. We are having the kids do some hands on experiments where they are identifying like unknown mystery powders and they're getting to do some um, blood typing to determine like what blood type was left at our mock scene that they're because they are trying to determine um, who caused the scene of the accident, who the driver was and we're actually going to partner with Apollo Shelters and we're gonna go and bring students um, there and they're going to make treats and dog toys and we're also gonna sell them at the end of the year for the, our marketplace. The students are gonna benefit by actually getting some hands-on um, learning experiences by go actually going to Apollo Animal Rescue and getting to see what they're, what they're actually doing. So our program is about uh, building and making our school nicer. So what we're doing is we're building a new ticket booth for the football field called the Husky Guide. And we are repainting 
our concession stand and we're cleaning the concession stand and uh, we're cleaning the concrete on the outside as well. You know, we've taken a moment, we've stepped outside the classroom and we've stepped outside of a textbook and we're teaching life skills. So we're teaching building, we're teaching cutting, measuring, painting, uh, all things that, that kids can use in their adult lives. Babysitter Club is kind of, it's like learning how to do CPR and first aid and getting certified in babysitting and just kind of learning how to be a good babysitter. I think Babysitter's Club will benefit the students at Hill that are in Babysitter's Club because it will like kind of teach them how to be a better babysitter and how to deal with kids and just people just better. Road College is we are preparing students for what college life is going to be like. We are teaching them strategy skills, we're showing them different colleges, we're going to go on a tour to the University of North Texas and to Tarrant County College. And we're going to visit them, tour them, give them uh, kind of a, a glimpse of what college life is like. And then we're also going to be making little shower baskets for seniors leaving high school so they can take with them to college. And we're also going to be making ceiling tiles with college logos to give to people who order them. And it's pretty much just where we make a nice little picture and we're going to the senior center to give it to them. I do think future students would love this because it's a very good learning experience and it's really good to just get your mind going and help out. And it's a combination of cooking meals for the nurses and doctors that work long shifts at Cooks, especially in the oncology department, and also making activity bags and crafts and cards to give to the kids who are patients. I was inspired to do this project because my own daughter is a cancer survivor and in December of 2015 she started her journey battling cancer and um, we spent many many nights and days up at Cook's. We went once a week, um, every month we spent two or three nights there and we were always overwhelmed by how many great things the doctors and nurses did and all the things they gave us and kept her happy and gave her gifts and um, we wanted, always wanted to give back. But it's really hard when it's just me and my husband trying to figure out a way we can do something for the staff there. Um, so when Ms. Eckert rolled out this project idea, the first thing that came to my mind was doing something for cooks, whether it was cooking a meal for the patients or making something for them, giving back in some way. And it's great to do this with 40 people instead of just two. So our program is the Disc Golf, Disc Golf Club. So there's, a, there's basically a two-stage plan. Uh, we're, the first part is uh, this year we're going to end up putting nine, nine holes in the ground uh, with the post. And then next year we're going to have the, the uh, high schoolers come out. Uh, they'll have a class for welding and then we'll have them weld on the chains and baskets. Um, so basically uh, stage one is this year, getting everything in the ground. And then next year it should be totally finished up. Um, but hopefully uh, by the end of next year, or we'll have a playable course by the end of this year, and uh, baskets welded on by the end of next year. Um, my students are learning that our theme all week has been, it's not about you. And so we really hope that they're gonna see this as an opportunity to go in there and, and um, know that it's not all about them having fun and about their, it's all, all the attention's on them. Hopefully they'll see it and put all the attention on the other kids and let them have a really great day while they work hard. Our program is called Horsing Around and it has to do with horses and horse therapy um, and how horses are beneficial to humans that way. Uh, tomorrow and the next day are going to be very challenging. They're going to be working outside doing a bunch of community service and cleaning up horse poop and, <laughs> and, and, and the grounds. So yeah, it's going to be pretty challenging. The YES program that I, I and Coach Lorton and Coach Noel are doing is we're doing survival education. Uh, ultimately, we're starting out learning first aid, out in the you know, wilderness first aid, how to treat wounds, how to take care of yourself first. We're going to learn how to make fire. We're going to learn how to build a shelter. We're going to learn how to uh, obtain water and hunt for our own food. The reason we wanted to teach this, we thought it might be a little different, you know, chance to get outdoors and to teach, especially a lot of our, our students who don't have a chance to have, you know, been raised in the country to kind of see um, a little more, a little more, I guess you would say, exposure to some wilderness situations. So my project is Handiwork for Haiti. Um, we are, we're building 10 coffee tables and we're going to sell those coffee tables um, to try to make some money for orphans in Haiti. Uh, me and my two brothers, we, uh, we founded I'm Me, um, which is an orphan care and prevention program in Haiti uh, back in 2012. And um, it started off, we just went to Haiti and fell in love with the country, fell in love with the kids. And uh, then we wanted, we had a vision to 
uh, open up our own children's home and kind of give those kids like a sense of family and, and stuff like that.